Hi, my name is Orla, how you doing? So if you guys follow me on TikTok, you've probably known that uh, Heartstopper has really like taken over my life a bit. I'm currently watching it for the fifth time and I started watching it about four days ago. But after I watched the show for the first time, the graphic novels have been on my TBR list for a very long time. And so I was like, finally, I have to read it. And then everywhere I checked, sold out. And I was like, okay, I'm really sad, but that's a good thing because it means the show is doing well. Obviously the show is doing well. We all know the show is doing well. But then on Easton's, uh, they were taking pre-orders for both Nick and Charlie and Heartstopper, Nick and Charlie the novella. So I pre-ordered both of them. And then I got an email from Easton's yesterday being like, hello. So I have a Heartstopper. I'm still waiting on Nick and Charlie, but I'm kind of glad I had this one first. Um, I'm just starting off with the first volume and then I'll obviously move on to the second one. Blah, blah, blah. I'm currently reading Good Omens, but I feel like it's okay to park bench it for a day. I'm about 25% through, so like a park bench for a day. This is realistically only gonna take me a day to read um, because I'm going to consume it. So yeah, we're gonna read. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna take you along while I read volume one of Heartstopper and hopefully I get more of them soon so I can read the rest of them and I can continue watching the show because it's so wholesome and it's so lovely and I love a cute queer story. I feel like people like myself who like um, came out a bit later in life, I think I was 17 or 18 the first time I came out and it was like a very like, I was very, like I was still like very like, ugh. <laughs> it's just, it's nice to look at like a story like this and be like, ah, you know, Nice little queer love stories exist. So yeah, let's get into it. They're going through the rules of rugby right now, which I know surprisingly well because my brother is obsessed with rugby. The same way I'm obsessed with um, K-pop, Heartstopper, he's obsessed with rugby. So I know this, which is what I found very, very funny in the show because I was like, haha, I know the rules of rugby. that they cast like they look really like the people that Alice Oseman drew like almost freakishly like they were created just to play these parts That's very cute. I'm sorry, but nothing has ever given me the ache more than you're so hot when you're angry. Oh, if somebody said that to me, I think I'd vomit. But that is like the point of the character. They, okay, I noticed this in the, um, the TV show, but in this part here, um, I just, I, I thought that it was really, I don't know how to describe this at the moment, um, the fact that Ben said that Charlie was lame for wearing a jacket because it wasn't even cold and Charlie was like, it's February, but Mick is also wearing a jacket. And I just think that's a really like cute, very small thing that I was just kind of like, oh, that's sweet. I don't know how else to describe it other than saying that it's sweet. But I just, I just think there's like a really like small little detail that very early on shows them kind of aligning. You'd think with an English degree I'd be able to describe these things, but no. Alas, no. Charlie seems very Irish. I know that he's not, but the fact that he says sorry all the time, that's, that's a very Irish thing to do. We say sorry for breathing and existing. Part two. Crash. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm gonna park bench at Crush for a while and I'm gonna just go get a cup of tea. Um, it's so easy to read. Um, like I've been reading it for 13 minutes and I'm on page 94 of 
263. I'll be finished this very quickly. I just like to put in here that I've read um, I was born for this and I read Radio Silence. Sorry, I'm looking up my books there on top of the wardrobe. I've read I was born for this and Radio Silence, but I have ordered Solitaire, which if you don't know is um, the story of Charlie's older sister, Tori. And I loved her in the show, even though she, she had a small but very important presence in the show. So I'd be really, really excited. I know that it's more like in the future because I think that Nick and Charlie are already together in that book and their side characters in it. I'd still, I, I'd be really interested to see more about her character and the blurb looked good, so. <laughs> I don't think I can show this mug, but I feel like from the shape of it, you can guess what's on the other side. Mm -hmm. I just finished uh, my last assignment for college um, today. Now I still obviously have to do my dissertation. It's obviously like the longest part. It's 30 credits, it's very big. It's very long, but I have all the assignments finished. And you know what, that last one that I did, I hate it because it was data communications and that's basically maths. And <laughs> I do arts. I don't do maths. I do arts. I don't do maths. Okay, that's the part um, where Nick is trying to figure out what he wants to text Charlie after uh, the whole Ben situation. But in the show, I absolutely loved their use of drums in this. Um, if you didn't know, I did a Bachelor of Arts in Music and English. Um, so I just, I loved the use of the drums to represent the adrenaline that was going through it. And it was very chaotic and so it like, really everything was very like chaotic and intense and almost felt messy because like their minds were going everywhere all over the place 100 miles an hour and so i just i absolutely just wanted to say that i adored that part in the show um because i just thought that creatively i appreciated it i liked it Of Mice and Men is on the board, just in the book, Of Mice and Men is on the board. We had to read that for religion class, then we didn't even finish it, and then we just watched the movie. It was good, but I wish I had finished the book. Okay, I wish this bit was in the- I wish this bit was in the show. That's adorable! I also kind of like that you know, at the start, everyone's like, look at Nick. He's as straight as they come. Because, like, you can't just look at somebody and just know. Sometimes they'll have indicators that they are, but at the same time, like, just because somebody looks straight doesn't mean they are. And I just like, just like it. Oh, Nelly. Where would we be without Nelly? Honestly, where would we be without Nelly the dog? Seriously, where do they find actors that look so much like these characters? It's kind of weird. Love it. It's kind of weird. Look at Nick on this page here. <laughs> the smile. Oh. It's just Nick's mam talks and I think of Olivia Coleman. So smiles. Oh 
my god. I don't think he's straight. Tori, words of wisdom. I'm the same personality type as Tara Jones. Yep, yeah. Yep, yep. Let's finish it. Oh my god. Can't believe that's where it finishes. And now I have to wait until I buy the next book. Um, to read more of it. But I'm really excited to read volume 2. Because then volume 3... I obviously don't know what happens to volume 3. Because I know that the, the show is based off of this and volume two and i love the little pieces that they added in you know like i love um i love that there is stuff in this that's not in the show and i love that there's like things in the show that like have taken this and just kind of expanded on it and i like the added characters as well in the show um this was so much fun but you see like you could read you can easily read this in a sitting so like i'll read this again easily easily um it's so much fun the drawings are just gorgeous and all the like little tiny little details in the drawing are just so, like wish -a, wish -a, wish -a. this is my cat i made this into a tiktok but she is uh older than like half the cast she was born in 2002 so i think that's hilarious because i just think that like humans being younger than my cat is very strange um i know this wasn't a hugely eventful uh video oh sorry i mean i know i know i'm sorry i'm sorry i know this wasn't a hugely eventful video but i do love this and please go buy it go watch the show have a fun time it's so cute and yeah if you like it give it a thumbs up and subscribe turn on post notifications follow me on my socials and i'll see you when i see you okay bye